Oh man, what a mess. I can't keep up with these paints. Look at this. Oh, there's no room on the desk. I can't even shoot this video. Oh, my splash paints. Damn it. Uh. Anyway, guys, look, I got to get these things organized before I start this video. Uh, I've started. Let's get this crap up. Let's clean this place up. Uh, we can do this. All right, guys, I'll see you in a second. Hey guys, it's been a while, but I had to get this place organized. Before I even go through what we're going to do next, which is canned chrome, let me show you what uh, I was going for. There we go. Uh, uh, paint just kept coming in, and uh, I was just piling up boxes of it. I didn't have room for some of these cans. And I'll oh, check out my Sylvia. I got in from Canada. I waited a long time for this kit. Uh, anyway, this is uh, what happened. I had to get more of these shelvings that I get on Amazon. These plastic, uh, clear plastic shelvings. I think they're fingernail polish. And I had to expand for the Mr. Color and the Gaia. So uh, here's all the SMS. Into the splash. These are the Meco colors. The metalizers and this is the car colors all the pearls and car colors and uh, there's the all clad collection all the way across with the clears and uh, these two are backwards because these are two brand new colors I got we're gonna be testing those so I don't forget which ones they were uh, miscellaneous stuff here I haven't tested any of this stuff yet and I got oh check this out before we begin got two boxes <laughs> Check this out. Hold on, guys. I'm going to put you back in the stand. All right. We got you back in the stand here. Uh, this is my Mr. Paint. I call it Mr. Paint because they're MRP. And uh, it took me a while to find these, but I was looking for all their metal colors. So I'll show you what I got. We're going to test these soon. Well, these aren't metal colors, but these are their luminous. I love their luminous yellow, so I got the whatever I can get. So the orange and red, you know. And uh, this is a two-step process, pearl orange, I believe. And you got to put one base and then one over it. And uh, I thought that was unique, so I figured I'd test that. But anyway, this is what we got from these guys. Check this out. Titanium. Gunmetal. Oh, super clear gloss varnish. Can't always have too much of that. Dark aluminum. Aluminum, as someone said in my comments burnt metal violet super silver super black matte one of the few solid colors I got copper bronze oh super clear matte that goes with the clear uh, steel Chrome, graphite, anodized aluminum. This has Russian aircraft airframe. That looks great. Uh, brass, gold, and burnt iron. Check those out, man. That's a lot of uh, metalized colors. Um, took a while to get the regular stuff from them, the regular uh, colors. But uh, when I found out they had all these metallic colors, uh, I tried to get them. Took a while. Place uh, in New England has them where I happen to live. And uh, it took a while to get them from him even, and he had them in stock. He was overwhelmed with uh, orders. You know, as the industry's uh, kicking up because a lot of people are stuck at home. Uh, anyway, let's get those out of the way. And this is what the video is about. Chrome in the can. Spray can. All right, we're going to be testing. Um, Humbrol acrylic chrome. Uh, the stuff is awful. I tested it quickly, and you'll see why. <laughs> uh, I haven't tested any of the rest. Uh, Krylon chrome. This is lac, iron lac. It's, uh, they sell these at uh, Hobby Lobby. And I believe they're six bucks. A yeah, they're six bucks. 
tons of colors, but I wanted to test just the chrome. And oh, I gotta open this up. There we go. And uh, gold plating. All right, those are those two. And then here is the testers. Chrome, this was not cheap, this was like 10 bucks. This is their chrome. This is their black chrome. And this is your basic chrome, their enamel. I, I don't expect much from this. This is just, it's probably called chrome. It's probably silver, but we're gonna find out. Um, that's all. Let's see if any of these cheap uh, alternatives, well, not that cheap if you think about it, but these are cheap. Um, but we'll see if uh, spray can chrome can uh, compete. And uh, I got some black spoons ready. Some stuff doesn't even need to be over. I don't even think this has to be over uh, a black base at all. So we'll find out. We'll test it both ways. And that's it. We'll meet you at the booth, and we'll see how this stuff comes out. All right, guys. Uh, back at the booth. Let's start with uh, black chrome from Testers. We'll go black spoon and just plastic spoon. Nothing on it. Um, I did uh, all clad black on all the spoons, and uh, I even did a butter knife. I don't know if uh, I just want to see how that looks flat, but uh, all right, let's see how this goes. I imagine you. Oh, no, we'll stop there. All right, more like charcoal gray, like a color of a Toyota Supra or something. But, hey, that's it. We'll let it go. Put it up here. Put this next to it. Move on to the next. I'm not going to pause it, so you're going to hear me shake these things in between. I shook them all just before, so they should be ready to go. Uh, I like to put it. It's warm here where I am today. I didn't really need it, but I like to dip these in a little cup of hot water from the sink and let it sit for about a minute. And then... Uh, it thins it up pretty good, but these have been pretty warm. I've been shaking them in my hand, which is pretty warm for a while now, so. Oh, I made a mistake, guys. I made a mistake. See it? I wanted to do it on a white spoon, and I wanted to do it on a black spoon. So let's go back to this. All right. That's it. Not bad. Looks good. All right. I'm not going to pause this. I'm going to keep going. I'll only pause it if uh, if something drops or I have to. So I'm going to do all this in real time. Here we go. Chrome. This is a $10 can, so this isn't that cheap. So let's see what it's like. like silver at this point. A good looking silver, but I have to see how it dries. I mean, you're supposed to put this stuff on in light coats, I've learned. I get a little heavy handed sometimes, but I, I, how do you put this stuff on lightly? It, it's it's physically impossible. It just comes out of these cans so heavy. Well, let's see how it looks on this surface. Let's see how it dries. Don't look bad though. Don't look like chrome. Chrome. I'm saving you guys money with these tests. All right, this is their basic chrome. This is their enamel lineup. I, uh, I'm not hoping for much here because uh, their enamel cans are just not that great. You know, their flat black is good. Their regular, their flat whites are good, but. I never got great results with the so glad when Tamiya came along and started making superior spray cans. Anyway, let's show you and see what this is. Oh my god, this, this is chrome. The other one wasn't. This is. Oh, went on too heavy though. Holy crap, that is that's chrome. I mean it's not shiny, I guess I'll try and buff it. It looks like it's gonna run. It it comes out too heavy. Wow. You know what? Let's try it on a a white spoon. Oh my God! Can you see? Can you see my board? How heavy it came out? Let's try farther back. All right, 
right, that's on the white. Holy. I would have thought the other one would have come out like that. Anyway, that's theirs. You know what, for an experiment, let me see. It looks terrible. This looks terrible. But that's what the test is for. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to try far back, but that one came out heavy. You know, I mean, I had a reason to pull, uh, pull it way back, but let's see what we got. See it? Now look at that blob that just shot out of it. Ah, that's not going to work. Ah, I'll put it over here. I'll put this aside. You know what? Let's try it on another black spoon way back here. It's going to dry rough if I leave it like that, you know? Yeah, that doesn't work at all. That's lousy stuff. I'm not ashamed to say. All right, guys, let me get the other cans. They're out of reach over there. All right, we're going to go with this uh, Iron Lack or Iron Lake or I don't know what the hell it is. But let's see what this stuff does. A big can for six bucks. Hopefully this is better than what we've looked at so far. Sorry about the shaking on camera. Let's see what we got. Oh, I'm going to go black first. All right, there we go. Whoa. Well, that's like the uh, tester stuff. That goes... <laughs> It's not pretty here. Hey, you know what? It ain't bad. It's not bad. I'm laughing, but it's not bad. Let's try it on a white spoon. Or just a plastic, white plastic. The problem is you can't go light. It, it, it won't come out smooth. That's a problem. Not, it looks like rippled chrome. Not bad, though. I mean, if you're going to do something that's kind of hidden from sight... It's, it's not bad. We'll look at it. I mean, it might dry completely different. We'll find out. But uh, let me put that with it. Hold on, guys. One second. I had to get the other one. We'll stick with the brand. This is their gold. Uh, no name on it. But it looks like there's old gold paint leaking on it. Unless it was the one next to it in the stand. It's supposed to come out like gold chrome. So feels pretty thin in the, in the can. You know how easy that is? It came like that. Whereas the uh, older testers, they had to lodge the ball loose, you know? Let's see what we got. Oh, this is... Whoa! This goes on completely different. Jeez. Holy crap. Um, I'm getting speckles off. Can you see it, guys? It's like the... F uh, maybe it dries. You know, I'm going to let it go. Maybe it has to dry. I get a feeling that it's not going to matter black or white as far as the, the base goes. This stuff is pretty intense. Look at this. this there's no way to, to let it come out easy. It just pours out. No, we'll let it go. You know what? It ain't bad, though. i got to tell you guys, this is not bad. Some of the acrylic airbrush stuff I tested was lousy compared to this. Not bad. Wow. I'm impressed by that. For what it costs, anyway. It's probably going to dry lousy. That's my guess. All right. There we go, guys. It's a Krylon. Oh, this is thicker. I can, I can just tell by shaking it how much thicker it is. Can, can you hear it? All right. Let's see what we got here. I hope... Uh, Hope it's alright, I got a lot of this crap. I could paint a car with this thing. No, uh, well, let's see what we got. Oh, you know what? It sprays better than all the other stuff. The problem is, it's, it, it's, not, it's not chrome. You know? It's just a nice silver, like a Porsche or something. Again, it might dry differently. I'm seeing everything drying, looking kind of different already in my, my sight. All right, guys, let me find a spot for this. One second. There's no place to put it. I'm going to have to put it right there. Uh, all right, white spoon. Let's see what we get. Yeah, it likes the white spoon. Oh, it's, it's getting dull. Look, it lost its shine or something. Take care of that. 
All right, that was the Krylon, and now the worst one. This stuff is awful. Now, um, let me show you what it came with. I bought all their metalizer cans, and it better be good, because this is not a good sign. This is their gloss black, right? So I, I said, let me get this test ready. I'll use this gloss black. Wait till you see this, guys. Don't mind my shirt. This is the gloss black. Now listen, I look at it. It's all, this is hard and rough, by the way. It looks wet, it's not. It, it, I sanded it, I put it over primer, I put it over plastic, I put it over plastic that was sanded, I put it on a light coat, I let it sit, I came back and put it on. It's all beautiful, thick, shiny. I come back a couple hours later, it all looked like this. All of it, I tried everything. I threw out a hundred spoons. This can's half gone. It's half gone. So that's gonna suck because I tested it once and I didn't like it. I had to put it, I had to get all new black. I wasted whatever this cost. It was a complete burnt your dollars and throw it out. I'm convinced the rest of them are gonna be as bad. I've heard now through one of my subscribers that this humble stuff sucks. Um, but I'm here to test everything, good or bad. Uh, so far, that's bad, and I tested this on one spoon, and it was not good. So that's where we stand. Now I can throw these spoons out, because I was dying to show you guys that. All right? Now. Here we go. I'm going to put over a shiny spoon that it was supposed to give us. All right, we'll leave it like that. It looks good. We'll let it dry. I don't even want to load it up. I just want it to, you know, I just want it to dry nice. All right, that's that one. There's no room over here. I've run out of room. Let's put it on a white spoon. One second, let me get a white one. The good news is it looks like it doesn't need any kind of a base, any of these. It's not the same thing as all clad. And there you go. There's, that's all the white. And uh, just so you know, before I get back at the bench, that's what it ended up looking like. Can you see this thing? It's like sandpaper. So I don't, I'm not holding out much for that because it all looks good like that until it dries. I mean, the company should pull this off the shelves. It's so bad. The only time I got it good was on this knife. And even then, it looks like garbage. I'll, I'll show you guys back at the bench. Anyway, that's everything. That's what I got so far for Can Chrome. Uh, I'll see you back at the bench. And um, we'll check the results. I'll see you back at the bench. All right, guys, uh, we're going to go over the results, which are not good. Um, I tested these thoroughly, you know, before I even did the video on different surfaces, and I, it was the same result, so it didn't matter what I did. I ended up with the same thing. I, I even went online to see, and a couple of people told me a lot of these things stink, and I, they were right. Um, well, it, it's six bucks for this giant bottle, I and mean, what do you expect? It, it just... Uh, it just came out, I mean, from a distance, you, you know, hey, it looks like the package, but it, it's, it, it comes out like sandpaper or some kind of heavy texture. Um, this is over the plastic. This is over a, a, a base. And it's just, it's not even worth uh, showing off. It's just, just awful. Uh, maybe a, a rim from the 80s, an 80s car rim has this kind of texture, I'm guessing. I'm not even going to waste your time too much holding this stuff up. Here is the silver, same brand. All right, this is over white. This is over uh, a base. You need a little bit more shine on the base. This looks like, uh, I don't know what that is. It's just like tin foil or something. So that, that's the two differences. Let's see if I can hold it up for you. This is really dull and rough. Can you hear it? I tried buffing them. Uh, I even buff it again here on my shirt, which is a soft cotton. I, you know, I just get, I get nothing. I, I tried everything I could on these things. Um, all these. There's a couple that are decent. You know? This is the Krylon. Now, again, I, I think maybe I, I went by the cover thinking it was chrome. Because they have one that's a silver cover like this. You know, that looks like silver. And then they have this, which looked like chrome. But it says metallic silver here, so maybe I purchased the wrong thing. I don't think how much the better the results are. This is over black. This is over white. Uh, just plastic. It looks like this thing, well, just about, it's not even shiny. 
Uh, this is a little smoother, I guess. Let's see if I can buff any of these things. No. No. Nothing really. This just It's just not chrome. It's, it's not chrome at all. Um, this was my biggest disappointment because this is an actual hobby brand. The black I showed you <laughs> in, the, in the spray booth, how horrendous it is. Now, um, this is their other lineup. Uh, this is the rest of the lineup. Th this stuff better be good because I'm counting on this. Metal coat. See it? Polished steel. Polished aluminum. See it? So this is the ones that say metal coat. I, God knows it's probably going to be as bad as this crap. You know, uh, this don't say metal coat, but this is gun metal, gold, uh, aluminum, and uh, brass. So, I mean, we'll see what these look like. Uh, based on this, uh, I just wasted uh, all that money based on that. This is it over plastic. Now, I tried this over everything. I tried it over acrylics. I tried it over uh, enamel bases. I tried it over lacquer uh, primers. I tried it over everything. I got the same results. Um Maybe I'm only good at airbrushing, and maybe I just can't use a spray can. This came close. This came close, you know. And this little bubble in the end it actually isn't the paint. It was uh, one of my uh, spoons had a bubble in it from the paint. I wasn't going to use it, but I grabbed it and uh, loaded a bunch of these up and see how I, it came out. And this one looked the best, so I grabbed it. So this is the closest I've come to chrome so far. Anyway, we got one more to go that looks decent. This looks like all the other ones over plastic. And this is uh, close as I could get over the black. You know, and even then it's it looks like it's reacting or doing something. But maybe with a little bit of practice, maybe if I blasted it into the airbrush cup and then airbrushed it, maybe I should decant this stuff. I don't, I don't even know if it's worth it. But um, that was my result with this. Not great. Like I said, I don't even want to waste any time. I mean, hold on, let me grab a... Here's the Gaia Chrome I just tested. That's Chrome. Right, that's chrome. Look at the guy with the aqua glow gloss over it. It still looks great. You can see me in the in the spoon. Right, where's my all clads? Here's my all clads. I mean, come on, it's such a disappointment. I was hoping on that one because I bought that whole lineup I just showed you of all, all the other cans. All right, this is the ten dollar chrome. What a waste this was. Same as all the other ones. It's rough. It, 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 trust me, I tried it. Look, at this is it just over plastic. I tried it over a piece of an old model I, on the wing of an airplane. I tried it over uh, an acrylic uh, uh, lac, uh, primer. Same thing. Then I tried, I said, you know, I kept a couple of spoons and I kept loading it up. You know, next day I came in, put another coat, another coat, and it just looked worse and worse. It's, it's, it's not good. Not good. Uh, buy an airbrush, buy a cheap airbrush and a bottle of all clad. You do yourself a, bit, a favor. A twenty, I bet you a twenty dollar airbrush on Amazon and a and a bottle of Alclad will get you an investment of about thirty, forty bucks, and you do all the chrome you want. This is black chrome from Testers. All right, same thing. It's it's. I, I don't know what this is. Not black chrome. Let me see if I got black chrome here. Yeah. All clad black chrome. That's black chrome. This is a it's a gray car color. Right. That's black chrome. That's regular all clad chrome. So it's got, again, the texture seems to be the thing. It, it maybe, uh, I don't know, maybe I'm doing something wrong, but some didn't get the texture, some did. And like I said, I tried it on all kinds of surfaces. So I just picked two, a plain one and a, and a black base, because I use a black base for everything. And it worked fine. And I figured it works fine for everything. This is the result. Now, I did get some gloss. I think I got an acrylic um, a Vallejo gloss, and I glossed the black chrome. A little better, but if you guys can see this, it looks like a car. Like you would paint a... It looks like a car body color. See it? It doesn't look like black chrome. This is black chrome. And this is after I glossed it. So, I mean, it was another step. Now, I know Testers has these systems. Maybe they had a lacquer clear. I saw it... Uh, it doesn't call for it. It doesn't give me any instructions. You have to look it up. But uh, I figured, you know, let me gloss one of these damn things and see if that's what it needs. It still isn't great. I mean, it's not black chrome. It, it's shiny pearl silver, or whatever you want to call this. So anyway, that's that. And the closest we got to chrome is the cheap 
five dollar bottle of old testers enamel chrome chromo chrome oh there we go this stuff comes out like you dipped it and it comes out heavy all right so this is it over white plastic this is the closest we got this is over the black you know even it looks like it's still thin on top on that one you know so this is my best spoon so let's see you know hey look at that close not quite a mirror like this you can see my face but uh that's the closest i got so if you guys want to pick one of these it's the damn cheap one now this is close uh, trust me there's a lot of failures before i got to this decent one and even then it looks spider webbish it still don't look as good as this one it's still better this was probably eight bucks and then you gotta add a ship the damn thing this was at i think hobby Lobby for five bucks so that's this one that turned out the best old testers enamel chrome and uh, a lot of this other stuff is going away because testers model master lineup is gone but they're actually keeping these regular model masters now rustoleum i went to two stores i went to a walmart and i went to lowe's because i wanted to get a can of their chrome like this because i know rustoleum makes these paints and it was probably good both stores were sold out so I, I stopped driving around at that point maybe i'll get a can on amazon so i can test at least test the rustoleum chrome maybe it's this good it's got to be decent Rustodium is usually pretty good, but um, that's the conclusion, guys. I would stay away from the cans. I would buy. Here's the winner. <laughs> if you want to pick a winner here, you know, maybe this uh, humble after a million tries. I've had such bad luck with it. I, I wouldn't bother. These all the other ones, they all stink. This uh, black chrome is nice after you put some clear over it, but even then, it's a double investment. You might as well buy a cheap airbrush and a bottle of Allclad. Um, and that new Gaia chrome is fantastic too. That's over here. Yeah, that turned. I, I ended up really liking this stuff. It's strong. It's sturdy. I, I like it. Um, but anyway, I wanted. To, I just. I was just curious about these. I mean, I'm going to do this video anyway with these other cans. See what the hell we get. If it acts like this, then my hopes are not high. But that's your winner right there. I guess is the old testers standby uh, chrome. And that's it. The conclusion is stick with all clad or that Gaia at thirty bucks a bottle. Even that's so, a uh, steep cost to have you guys cough up but um that's it it won't be as long until my next video I, I showed you my desk i had to clear it out i think what we're going to do next is uh we're going to do these i want to see what some of these metal colors look like this separate from that humble test um i just got this from ak this is aluminum um silver leaf from uh tamia um bright gunmetal semi-gloss bright gunmetal from tamia there's another Tamiya. This is titanium silver. And this is extreme lacquers. At least I know this is a lacquer. Diamond dust from uh, testers. Maybe it's as good as this stuff. At least it's a lacquer. You know? So I'm going to do this probably uh, in a week or so. We'll test that. And then I got a bunch of new paints. I showed you at the beginning of the video. You saw the wall. And I got a lot of metalizers we're going to be testing. Uh, I'll try to get up two videos this week for you guys. And uh, I'll do my best to do that. But uh, that, that's it for now. Um, I'm glad I'm reaching over here guys. I'm glad I got this over with and uh, I can put all these things away and uh, Never take them out again. This is the closest we got to being good. It's actually pretty decent for a cheap cheap alternative um, If you guys don't even have a spray booth or you don't have a uh, an Airbrush you know, go grab this for five bucks and at least you get some kind of chrome effect um, But that's it. That is it for now and um, I will see you probably in a few days and uh, we're gonna do a good video with uh, some nice metalizer paints I just got in and um, we will see you then and don't forget to subscribe any questions on these and if you have any uh, advice of what I might have done wrong let me know I uh, beyond the video I did a lot before the video and um, the conclusion was the same that's why I went ahead with the video because I knew what I was ending up with I wanted to show you but anybody if you'd seen me that I was doing something wrong or advice uh, shoot me below and um, I'll listen to anything you guys have to say. All right? We will uh, see you in a few days with another video.